Hello, this is Mrs. Collins, and today we're going to talk a little bit about typography and the text tools in Photoshop. Typography is one of my favorite topics in art and can get very detailed, and there's so many different directions we can go with it. But this video is meant to just scratch the surface of what you can do with the text tools in Photoshop and also cover specifically a couple of things that will appear on the Photoshop certification test that you need to know. So I do have a presentation that shows lots of different ideas of what you can do with typography in Photoshop, as well as it includes the tutorials of how to create some of these types of looks. These are just a few different things you can do with text in Photoshop, but there are many, many more things you can do but you have to learn the basics first of how the text tools work. So there are multiple type or text tools in Photoshop, and you might be wondering why I'm even making a video about this, because many of you have been typing on computers for many years. But the text tools in Photoshop work differently than your normal um, text tools in like a word processing software. You get to control what direction the type uh, gets printed on your document. You also get to control what is selected. So at this time, Photoshop actually has four different text tools that you can select in your tool palette. The horizontal type tool is the one that is used the most. There's also a vertical type tool. You can type out your text box and also rotate it, warp it, and skew it. And then there's some masking text tools as well. The options bar is a really important part of the Photoshop window for any tool we select and use. But the options bar, when you select a text tool in Photoshop, changes and gives you many different choices of things to do with your typography. And this quick illustration shows you all the different parts of the options bar. So this is just the basic information uh, for most text editing and you'll find it in the options bar. So the character panel palette, we need to spend some time exploring this because honestly, the questions on the Photoshop certification test are about this. And when you first open Photoshop, your character panel is not open. You have to go tell it to open. And to do this, you can go to the window menu and click on character. So character is kind of a weird word to think about, but when we look at typography and text and fonts, the word character means an individual letter. So the character panel allows us to change different uh, features of individual letters that we type. So hopefully that explanation will help you remember that it's called the character panel and you have to know what it's called in order to know where to find it to turn it on. In the character panel, you can change many things about your font text, box, text boxes that you create. This includes the letting, the tracking, the kerning, um, type options, and many other things. But you have to turn this panel on to be able to see these things and change them. When you get done with it, you can close it. If you want to open it again, you go to Window, Character, and it will open. Typography is fun and exciting, and we will use it in photography. Um, you get more in detail about learning typography and graphic design. But typography affects us in many ways in lots of different subjects, and it can get very technical. Maybe back in elementary school when you learned how to write, you used to have to practice on these wide papers with dotted lines. Anyway, every bit of typography or fonts, they have names for all the different parts of the letter and pieces. There are people that it's their job to design new fonts for us to use on our computers. We do not have to learn all the parts or names of the fonts in this class. We just need to know a few things like letting and kerning and tracking and where to change our typography in Photoshop. 
So don't feel like you have to memorize all this information. So letting and kerning are the two main ones that we need to know. Letting is the spacing between the two lines of text when you make a paragraph. And you can change this in many word processing softwares, but we can also control it in Photoshop as well. Tracking is the spacing in between letters. So letting is the spacing between lines. Let's dive into this question specifically. Do you know how to change the kerning, tracking, and letting of typography? Whew, that's a lot of words. But the questions on the Photoshop test have to do with these three words, and they get a little confusing. So I'm going to show you some illustrations to try to help you. So tracking is when you can adjust the spacing in between the letters over a whole word or sentence. So tracking moves all of the letters and makes them more uniform and you have control of how far apart they are. Letting describes the distance between each line of text. And if I tell you a story here, it might help you remember it, but I don't know, we'll try. So back in the olden days before computers, people used to have to type set um, information and print it. So people who used to make newspapers would make take a stamp of every single letter and line them up on a board. And they would have a giant board with stamps and then they would print it and that's how the newspaper was made. They would actually put a line of metal lead in between the lines of text to help separate them. So maybe that will help you remember leading means the space in between lines. Kerning has to do with the space between two specific individual letters. Okay, so let's cover that again. Tracking is the space between all the letters in a word or sentence or statement. Letting is the distance between each line of text and kerning is the space between two individual letters. And in Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and many other Adobe programs, you have control to change all of these things when designing in the software and using the text tools. And you can find how to change these things in your character panel that we just learned about before. So to turn the character panel on, you go to Window and click on Character, and then it pops up. And then you will see that there is a space for kerning, letting, and tracking, and you have the ability to change all of them. So the key to change all three, kerning, letting, and tracking, is in your character window. But you won't find your character window in Photoshop unless you go turn it on. So you have to go to Window, click on Character, and then it pops up. And you will see in my illustration below that kerning is listed on the left-hand side. So all you have to do is select your text, change the kerning spacing, and it will automatically change your text layer in Photoshop. There are many things you can do with typography in Photoshop. The goal of this presentation was just to show you that there are multiple text tools that you can use and how to find your character window, as well as covering the basics of letting, kerning, and tracking, because these are the three things that will show up on the Adobe certification test that you will have to change within a document. We'll practice a little bit in class but hopefully this helps you understand typography a little bit better. Do not feel like you need to memorize all the different words that have to deal with typography. We'll learn them a little at a time. If you need help with your project, please let me know. Thanks for watching.